Hi everyone, it's Adriana from Adriana's Paper Crafts and today we're going to do just a real quick tutorial on how to change the skin tone of a certain character. Um, you will be needing Photoshop for this, however you can also use um, Cricut Design Space as well as the free websites that I have linked in the previous video which I will link at the end of this video. So go ahead and open up Photoshop. And then open up the characters that you want to change the skin tone for. Um, I'm going to go with Angelica and Chucky Fenster. We are going to start off with Angelica. What I want you to do is first off make sure that the background is transparent. Um, I do see that I missed a little bit of white here next to her hair. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that using my magic wand tool. All right. So once you have your image and it has a transparent background, go ahead and select that layer. And then you're going to head up to Layer, Duplicate Layer. If you want to rename that layer, you can, of course. And what you want to do is go ahead and hide this bottom layer by clicking this little eye button right here. Select your top layer. And I want you to use your magic wand tool to remove all of the skin tone from her image. So we're going to remove her face her hands, and her neck. Okay, I'm going to hit select, deselect to make sure my magic wand tool is no longer in use. From there, go ahead and hide that top layer once again using the little eye, and then put your bottom layer back into view. Making sure that your bottom layer is secure, go ahead and head down to FX, and then select Color Overlay. From here, you can click this little color box and you can select whatever color you want the skin tone to be. So if you're adding melanin to Rugrats, you will of course play around with the shade over here between this red, orange, and yellow. So you can get some browns. You can make them any color you want them to be. So what you do is we'll just hit OK. And then bring your top layer back into view by selecting the little empty box. And there you go. Now, if you wanted to change Angelica's hair color, you could either do the exact same thing, which is did by creating, once again, another layer and removing everything besides her hair. Or you can do what I normally do is select that top layer. You're going to head over to image at the very top, adjustments, down to replace color. You're going to want to select whatever color on that image that you plan to change so we'll be selecting this yellow color and then just play around with the hues the saturation and the lightness so you could of course create any color that you want um, if you notice down at the bottom here these little color spots on her pants are also changing color the reason for that is because anytime you decide to do replace color it will also replace the color of anything that is close to the color that you initially selected, which was that yellow gold. Um, I really don't care because it's just spots in her pants. I don't really know what color they're supposed to be anyways. But if it's really is something important to you, of course, if you're, you know, you're using a different image, then what you'll want to do is just do replace color all over again. So you're going to go ahead and hit OK if you're done with the hair and then go up to image adjustments replace color again but this time instead of selecting the hair color you'll come down here and select these spots and then play with that as well so that's just something you could do again i don't know what color those spots are supposed to be so i really don't care but yeah all right and then that would be it you would just save your image as a png or a jpeg that way it flattens into one layer now we're going to do it one more time real quick with Chucky just in case you want to see it again. Um, everything is transparent, so that's good. Let's go ahead and create a duplicate layer. I'm going to hide the bottom layer. Use my magic wand tool to remove all of his skin. That sounds really creepy when I say that, but um, make sure you get everything. Like down here, you can barely see a little sliver of his leg. Make sure you get it and little slivers over by his glasses. Of course, if you want to zoom in, you will zoom in for that. There's a spot right by his nose and right by his hair. All right. And then from there, I'm going to turn off that one, turn on the bottom one, FX, color overlay. 
Normally Photoshop will save the last color that you initially used. So that should be saved. Oh, hello. Sorry, I need to select my bottom layer for that. So make sure you're always, uh, you've always selected the correct layer or if not, it won't work. Um, and then if you just want to be 100% certain that you're using the exact same shade for each character, you can just come down here and copy and paste this hex code that's down here. So that looks good. Let me do that. And there it is. And then again, just save as a PNG or a JPEG so that it's uh, you save it as a as one layer. And then, of course, if you want to always have these layers set up already ready to go, just save it as a PSD file. Um, I will be linking the last video that I created, which was using nothing but free websites or apps. There is a website, um, I believe it's called PhotoP or something or PhotoPia. Um, and that is very, very similar to Photoshop. So if you are not currently um, using Photoshop because you don't want to have to pay for it, you can use that free website. It looks almost exactly the same. So you would be able to do the exact same thing without actually having to pay for Photoshop. You can also do this using Cricut Design Space because it's basically the same working in layers. So the um, technique would pretty much be the same. Um, I will hopefully be making a video talking about how to change the color or pattern of their clothing, but that is something that I will just have to do down the road. Um, if you are not already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Adriana's Paper Crafts. Um, you can shop my website as www.adrianaspapercrafts.com or you can also join my Facebook group. It is Adriana's Paper Crafts group. I do have free templates, um, tutorials, videos, live videos, um, and also it's just a really good creative space to see what else everyone is up to. Um, and then I do answer questions really quickly on there. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.